This is my homemade uh, bass pedal for a rock band. I got, I st they're still the same drum set, but our bass pedal broke uh, due to me playing Welcome Home on Expert. Just so you know, all the specifics. Anyway, so it cracked, so I made a new one. It was very simple. It took me maybe 20 or 30 minutes. Um, but it's very simple to make. Anyone can make this. Uh, this bottom piece of wood right here is a one and a half by five and a half inch. It's uh, one and a half inches thick and then uh, five and a half inches wide. And I cut it to about a foot and a half, I think. Anyway, this is a bass pedal itself where you know your foot goes whatever it's mounted on it it's mounted with a hinge to this block of wood so that it can move freely and then it's got this trampoline spring it's just screwed right there well this is how it normally was so i got a map gas torch and i melted it or i turned the bottom of it red and then bent it until a screw would fit in there good so i got a, wa a washer and a screw holding that and um Anyway, this foot pedal is five and a half inch, uh, five eighth inch, uh, and damn, five eighth inch plywood, just cut to you know just a size, and I smoothed off the edges just in case your foot hit hits it, it won't splinter as easily. Anyway, uh, I got the I got these three black screws right here, and they protrude from the bottom just a tiny bit, and they grab the carpet and uh make sure that the foot pedal won't move uh it's really handy because you know when the, the regular bass pedal goes along these bars right here and when you when you uh play for a while the drum set the drum set starts to move so this is completely separate from it though so it's kind of a bitch to use because it's way over here anyway i got the regular cord from uh the old bass pedal and uh basically all you do is you get the two wires from it and you touch them together and it'll be like one uh it'll, it'll be like hitting the bass pedal once so what i did was i just used uh a homemade reed switch which is this thing right here it was very simply made i just took a relay apart and took one of the contacts out of it and then placed a magnet on it uh, i'll tell you what that is about in a minute and then on the bottom right here is a uh, piece of stiff copper wire it's there to serve as the other contact I don't know why I chose to use that instead of the other side of the relay but whatever and it's all mounted on a little tiny piece of circuit board I didn't cut the circuit board I broke it with a uh, wire cutter so it's ugly but I don't care about that as you can see I don't care about ugliness at all because it's pretty freaking ugly uh, anyway so the magnet right here and this magnet come close together and i have the alike poles facing each other so when this comes down it repel it repels and it closes the contacts i don't know if you can see it but the contact is moving well this upper contact touches this lower one and it's like a short or it's uh you know they're touching so it conducts electricity so it's closed so uh, each time you move this down, it closes the contacts, and it's just like the normal bass pedal. Works the same way. Uh, and then I made my own drumstick. It's I know it sounds kind of childish, but I lost the other one. Damn it. Anyway, it's just a dowel, and I cut it to well, I cut one dowel in half, and that's the other side of it. That I, I made it into a drumstick too, but it broke. So I use this one and one of the normal rock band uh, drumsticks. So, yep, that's about all I got right now.